Hi guys and welcome to another haul video. I was incredibly spoiled over Christmas by lovely friends and family members and of course myself, you know me, I'm always on the lookout for interesting products. Many of these items I'll be showing today were Christmas gifts but I also bought a few things with Christmas money and my own money as well whilst I was staying with family in England. Additionally, the assortment contains both things that are brand new to me and some refills of favourite products. First up, we have the 24 set of Derwent Tinted Charcoal Pencils. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you'll know that I've already given this set a go and of course it's on my list to review. Next I have here are some Windsor and Newton drawing inks. This set has the Henry colour assortment. And as you may recall, I reviewed the William set around springtime in 2017. A link to which will be in the cards and description box along with anything else today I've reviewed before. I love these inks and I'm looking forward to creating some fun and vibrant paintings with my new colours. Here we have another 24 set of Derwent pencils. As you can see, this is the artist's line. I really enjoy using the black and white stick set of the artist pencils, so I put this 24 set of colours on my wish list. Funnily enough, the same aunt who gifted me these for Christmas actually also gifted me my very old Derwent Studio set more than a decade ago, and the Derwent Studio and Artist set contain the same formula. My old studio pencils haven't aged very well at all, and I don't think I could pass fair judgement on them now, so I'm looking forward to reviewing this newer set and giving them a fair test. Next up are the Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura 36 set. Again, another gorgeous set of pencils and a lovely box to store them in too. I've had a little play with these watercolour pencils as well, and I'm really looking forward to continue using them. The colours in this set match the Polychromos coloured pencils and the Pitt Artist pen lines, so I think at some point I'll have to make a drawing with all three to see how they work together. Here I've got two little sets of some of my all-time favourite pencils, and these are for two of you lucky viewers at some point in the near future. To celebrate 2,000 subscribers on my channel, I'll be running a giveaway here on YouTube where I'll be sending off sets of these pencils, an assortment of paper and some original artwork, as well as some other arty goodies as a sort of care package. So stay tuned for that, and perhaps hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on the giveaway announcement. Moving on, I've bought myself some refills of a few things that I was running low of, so first off we have the Derwent Artist Black and White set, which is a small set of six coloured pencils containing three different tints of white and three shades of black. I also bought another pack of 24 Prismacolor Colour Erase Colour Pencils as my most used colours are wearing down quite considerably. I also bought a larger bottle of Zest It Pencil Blend. I now know that I really like this blending product, and although a little goes a very long way, I don't want to get caught short towards the end of my small 125ml bottle that I originally bought. I also purchased some pencils open stock to supplement and refill my collection. So I bought another Derwent Drawing Chinese White, as this is a brilliant pencil to use to add in highlights to a piece. And similarly, I bought some open stock Caran d'Ache Luminance as well. The Luminance pencils I bought uh, were another white to refill my tiny little stubby whites that I have left. I also went ahead and bought a Titanium Buff, and two very dark browns which I think are Castle Earth and Sepia. These will all be used similarly to what I do already with my Derwent Artist Black and White set, bright and dark detailing for my coloured pencil pieces. I also bought a bunch of Polychromos colours that I'm quickly burning through, namely the lightest and darkest colours again. Additionally, I bought some more pastel mat. I bought some loose sheets of my favourite colour, which is dark grey, so I feel less guilty burning through it for my own personal projects. 
I also bought a couple of very large 50cm by 70cm sheets of pastel mat which is about 20 by 27 inches and I've cut these in half so now I have the opportunity to offer A3 commissions. On top of this I bought another set of Derwent blender pens, a burnt umber Winsor & Newton watercolour marker as I felt like I was missing a dark brown from the sixth set I own, and three Caran d'Ache Fibrolo metallic markers. I actually wanted to pick these up for my Fibrolo review that I completed a few months back, but I just couldn't track them down online until I found them in person at a little art shop. So I might have gone a little overboard on a Christmas present to myself and purchased a set of 80 Caran d'Ache Pablo coloured pencils. Just look how stunningly gorgeous they are though. I've used them a little already but certainly not enough to have really gotten to know them, but I'm keen to give them a good go soon. I found these as a bargain on eBay for considerably cheaper than their normal retail price because they were from a private seller and had been used once or twice. Honestly though, they had barely been touched, only one had been sharpened a fraction, but otherwise they were as new. I seriously recommend going this route if you're looking for cheaper art supplies, if you have some patience and some time to spare. On top of this 80 set, I also bought some extra colours open stock to supplement the range of colours that I knew I'd use a lot. Up next, here I have a few small things that I'd like to compare to items I already own. So here we have a couple of sets of water brushes. I bought this three pack of Derwent water brushes, um, which happened to be half price, and I was given this set of Royal and Langnickel water brushes as well. I've grown madly in love with my Caran d'Ache water brushes, and I use them very frequently, so it will be good to have a little more selection to choose from. I also picked up two of these Lyra Splendor blending pencils. In the comments section of my coloured pencil blender comparison, I remember somebody asking what these were like compared to some other brands of blending pencils, so now I can find out. I also received another awesome Christmas gift, a set of 12 Winsor and Newton Cotman half pans with brush, which seems to be perfect for going out and about and I also received a really beautiful and thorough book on watercolour techniques. I also managed to find my set of 40-something half pans at my parents' house, and I remember receiving this when I was about eight from a very encouraging arty grandmother. Looking at them now, it doesn't appear that I used them very much as a child, but I suppose that's a positive thing for present-day Claudia, as I can now put them to good use. I also got given these Cure Art brush pens, which were also second hand from that arty grandmother again. I've swatched them out and they are really fun and I think I might have to do some doodles and patterns with these. Next up we have some more paper. I have two little Strathmore toned mixed media pads, which I found for relatively cheap on Jackson's Art Supplies. I've seen some gorgeous things created on this paper, so I just wanted to try out each colour for myself. I was also given this very slightly used A4 pad of Fabriano Artistico Cold Pressed Watercolour Paper, which I think will be perfect for the inks and watercolours I received too. Here are three loose sheets of Spectrum Colour Fix Paper, which is a type of sanded paper for pastels and I found these gathering dust in an art shop and I managed to haggle down the price. You certainly can't beat a good bargain. And on top of this paper, I also ordered some more sanded paper, the Canson Mittance Touch, but I'm still waiting for it to arrive with me and I explained the whole ordeal in my update vlog, so if you're curious, you can check out the story there. Whilst I was in England, I also bought some of these mounts or passepartouts, which for some reason are incredibly expensive for what they actually are here in Norway. I've yet to decide if I intend on selling pieces with passepartouts already included, or if I will just use them to photograph my artwork, but either way, I'm sure they'll be useful. On a similar note, I was also given a load of thick mount board as well, 
which I think I'll cut up to use to protect originals and commissions during shipping, or perhaps I'll get something I can use to cut the board with to make custom mounts for my work. Finally, finishing up with two items that were indispensable during my trip. I bought a Derwent carry-all bag to safely haul my pencils around with me where I went. On top of this, I also bought two extra pencil leaves which fit into the bag in a ring binder-like system. This bag fits a huge amount of pencils. I have five of these so-called pencil leaves and they are double-sided with each side being able to hold up to 22 pencils. So excluding the other space available in the bag, you could easily fit 220 pencils in here. As you can see, I've currently got my 60 set of polychromos and most of my Pablos in here right now, and I found it to be really convenient at home as well, as it's a lot easier to flip through this bag to find pencils I need, rather than open a bunch of different pencil tins. And one of my favourite purchases and most used so far, although surprisingly simple, is this Crank Sharpener by Derwent, the Derwent Super Point Mini. I do still love my Coom Automatic Long Point Handheld Sharpener for just slipping into a pencil case, but this large crank one just makes life so much easier with coloured pencils. A couple of cranks and pencils become needle sharp. So as you might be able to tell, it was quite the challenge to get all of this stuff in my suitcase for the way back to Norway. Luckily it all made it through in one piece, which I'm very pleased about, although I did take the majority of my pencils with me in hand luggage because I just didn't feel brave enough to leave them alone in the hold. This way I also got to make the most out of my time sitting on the planes and in the airports. I was able to do a bit of arting on the go. I'm currently working my way through review videos and I still have some items from previous hauls that I plan on reviewing, but if you're interested in learning more about any of the items I mentioned in today's video, be sure to comment down below and I'll bump the item up on the list of things to review. As I said earlier, I've already made videos on some of the items shown today, so be sure to check the cards and description box to find the links to them. If you'd like to see more haul videos in the future, don't forget to give this video a like, it really helps me out. I also now have a haul video playlist that I'll leave a link to in the cards and description box. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with my RT videos, and remember to keep an eye out for the giveaway announcement in the course of the next couple of weeks. Thank you very much for watching, hope you have a lovely week, and I'll see you in the next video.